In other stories, lighting a cigarette will not be allowed at bars, pubs, hotels and restaurants in Karnataka if these places do not have designated smoking areas. The state government in its latest order has said that smoking will only be allowed in restricted areas inside these places and that too only if they have a no objection certificate from civic authorities. Vyans Nishchita Virender brings us this report. Lighting a stub will no longer be a smooth affair in Karnataka. The Karnataka government has initiated a bold step by strictly imposing an anti-smoking law in public places. A latest notification by the Urban Development Department states that all pubs, restaurants and bars coming under the urban local bodies across the state cannot permit smoking unless there is an NOC obtained. The no objection certificate will be provided to the eatery only if they follow the guidelines strictly. According to the notification, pubs, restaurants, eateries, bars and clubs with only more than 30-seater capacity or 30 rooms are eligible to get the no objection certificate. The certificate will be granted only if there is an enclosed smoking area with a negative air pressure that ensures minimal transfer of smoke into the non-smoking area. Ashtrays, lighters or matchboxes should not be provided to the customer by the restaurant as it encourages smoking. Also, eateries shall not provide tables, chairs or any form of seating arrangement in the enclosed smoking area. There is a wild range of violation in terms of the applying the, the law. Almost, I would say, 99% of the violation. If you go around and see any hotel, if they say smoking zone, it's not really a smoking zone. The smoke is passing across to the other people. While public health experts have welcomed the move, eateries and pub owners are apprehensive. I, I don't agree with the, with the fact that smoking rooms need to be licensed. They can always be inspected. Uh, they, the authorities have a right to inspect and they can see whether a smoking room is proper or not proper and uh, you know, uh, maintain a list or a tick box. But uh, the amount of paperwork and the effort and the manpower uh, that we are going to be wasting uh, in trying to license uh, something as basic as this, uh, I think it's a utter waste. Over 20% of smokers worldwide live in India, which amounts to about 100 million people. But it is not just smokers getting affected. According to the GATS survey by the WHO, 38.7% of all adults in India are exposed to secondhand smoke, as 85% of tobacco smoke is not visible to the naked eye. All studies have shown, without exception, that when you start measuring air outside a smoking room, it is most often just as toxic as the air inside the smoking room. Interestingly, while law permits smoking under restrictions in India, it is in direct violation of the WHO treaty called Framework Convention on Tobacco Control. Under this, smoking in restaurants or public places is absolutely prohibited. While India earns about 34,000 crore rupees through tobacco products, it spends over a lakh crore rupees on tobacco-related diseases. Through the latest notification, Karnataka is attempting to move towards becoming a smoke-free state. But it all comes down to effective implementation. So can Karnataka efficiently implement the law and become a model state for the rest of the country? We have to wait and see. In Bengaluru with video journalist Chandan and Jessica in Delhi, Mr. Virendra, we on World is One.